Hey everyone, Meosity here, welcome back. Today I kind of wanted to start a new pseudo blade group on the Cowardice run. Kind of replacing the Occultist who was kind of a linchpin in the group, but I felt he was kind of the weakest link. I know that the Flagellant was kind of also one of the biggest ones causing problems, but he was also one of the biggest tanks and damage dealers on the group, so I was a bit more hesitant to replace him even if he was causing bigger problems. I know there's also ways to fix that rather than what the Occultist was kind of doing. So with that being said, I kind of wanted to show what my process of thinking was before I showed the group. At first, I did kind of want to take the suggestion that I was getting of the leper, but I actually, unless I'm seeing things wrong, don't see a way that he can remove stress other than on himself because reflection and solemnity only remove stress on himself, and so unless he's critting, he doesn't remove stress on anyone but himself. And I don't see anything on his paths that would designate that otherwise. So he's a good choice, but I think I'm going to save him for the next group because I have a different plan for him. We are still going to be taking the Flagellant, as hesitant as I am about that. And we're still going to be taking the... Plague Doctor and the Grave Robber. They were really good, all of them. The only thing about the Flagellant is how much he was putting stress-wise and relationship stuff on the other group. Actually, I'm going to be putting the Flagellant in a row too, because if I recall correctly, the Hellion can kind of remove everyone's stress a little bit. Not as well as the Jester, who I could put in row 3 and move kind of everyone around, which is the next go-to if everything goes kind of haywire. But I kind of wanted to use someone in this group I hadn't used before. Well, I wanted to use someone I hadn't beaten Cowardice with before for this. So that's kind of why I'm using her. Interesting name for this group too. She's going to be the one kind of managing stress the most. How her skills are set up, I don't entirely know how I'm gonna do that quite yet because she is going to need to be in row one. She is also gonna need Rakish Revelry. Th that's a requirement in this group because of stress. How we've seen this group does otherwise. So what I think I'm gonna have to do is also put on Adrenaline Rush for her healing because we know this group can be a little weird on the healing and I'm potentially thinking of taking off Wicked Hack for Howling End, that way I can do toe-to-toe, -to -toe, Howling End, toe-to-toe, -to -toe, Howling End, Iron Swanning when I need to in that Adrenaline Rush and Rakish Revelry. Now the Flagellant being in row 2 has different skills at his disposal, so I'm going to try to use Necrosis on him, because now that he can do that, he can hit anyone that has Blight on it and then heal himself, which is a huge thing. We're still going to be using... Oops. I forgot to, I'll, I'll do that in a bit. With Audrey, we're still going to be doing that same build that we had been doing. So, Dead of the Night, Flashing Daggers, Pick to the Face, Absinthe, Poison Dart. And then the same thing on Para, because that seemed to be working well. And then later on, we'll be changing out Magnesium Rain if we need to for Cause of Death for huge amounts of damage. But until then, we have Sepsis to just rip off the Blight damage. So we don't have too much other than the... Actually, we don't have Bleed damage from her. So until we get trinkets that do Bleed or Burn damage, the only other source of that stuff for Cause of Death is Magnesium Rain. So it's not too big of a deal to me to just leave Cause of Death off right now. Then, as always, Alchemist for the Blight Resistance Piercing gonna be doing venom drops so that she gets extra blight damage that's not just for when she's stealth that also adds blight damage her flashing daggers we're gonna be putting him on examinant and then this is where i'm not too sure i need to want to put her on carcass so that she gets the stress removal but at the same time i kind of want to put her on ravager for the extra damage because she's always going to be in row one if I can help it. So I think that's what I'm going to do. And we're going to start the Cadaver Caravan. To the spreading. So let's see how this group works. So I am actually a little excited. So let's put the Blight on both of them. 
and they resisted it. Uh, we're then going to Iron Swan him, pl putting the... Oh, we don't have the token for that yet. Then Acid Raining. Both resisted again. <laughs> and... I wanted to just kill him, so we're going to do that. Magnesium Rain will put the burn on him, that'll do that, and the rest of them take the damage. The slow suffering begins. One down. Alright. Now we're gonna... Uh, yeah, let's take him out. So now he's taking six damage a turn. He's gonna be down. We're going to... Toe to toe to put... The taunt on. Gonna poison dart. This one. Really, another resist. Necrosis isn't going to do too much. That's going to only do three to five, so let's take him out. Messy, but effective. That one's down. So then what we can do, since we're immobilized, holding end, stay in place, trivial and she keeps the damage buffs. I like it. Iris lit. The table. All right. So let's see what we can all do and what we get at the end here. I do want to go to the fold here because that's what's going to get us the best trinkets for the group at least. And at the provisioner, we do get the orphan wolf cub, which is the thing that I wanted the most for this group. Just because I do think that the relationships are going to be the biggest issue still. There's no stagecoach gear that I think is going to be super helpful. So I'm going to hold off on buying anything there. So we're going to skip most of that. Going straight to the mastery trainer. I'm not entirely sure what I want to get yet. Honestly, I think I need to get toe to toe for something to remove the winded from Bodica consistently. So we're going to grab that, and then I think what I'm going to do is grab Flashing Daggers for a higher crit rate and a higher Blight chance on Audrey. Might be a mistake going into the full tier, but we're just going to see what happens. And then we're going to use this Whiskey preemptively on the Flagellant, just because I know this is going to be an issue. Equip the Orphan Wolf Cub, and let's get to it. And accordingly. And hopefully I'm not forgetting anything. Now the one plus side about this is going to the Harvest Child. I actually have a like straight up damage dealer. And I wanted to a bleeder rather than just straight up blighters. That's a bonus. I guess we're going to go get the thing in the corner before going to the lair. So let's see what we get here. The seat of our regrettable research. Rummage through the shell. I don't really remember what this is. Echoes of indistinct ideas. All right, trinket and mixed quirk or positive quirk. Let's get the trinket just because we need trinkets right off the bat. Um, Grim Map. Claim above 40. All right, well, we're, we're going to go for that. And let's not put it on Damien. Let's have it on Bodica for now, and then we're not going to need their, those for now. Okay. Going to the lair, because that's where we're going to get the best trinkets and a trophy that we need, possibly. If it's the um, death blow resistance done one, though, we're just going to leave that be because I'm not touching that thing with a 10 foot pole again. And here we go. The landowner's manor. Do you hear the chant? All right. Since I'm probably not going to blight them, let's just pick to the face. And then burn them. I don't think she can do anything to the Windows. livestock for the um, fodder thing. We're then going to toe-to-toe, -to -toe, so they kind of go at Bodica. 
and we can manage that. That one is not going to die on its turn from the burn, so we're going to kill it. Early results are encouraging. Uh, might as well go for broke on them. We might blight her, and we got the fodder too, which is very nice. It's howling and killing this one. Have the dress down too, nice. And then let's not damage ourselves. Actually, we can heal, so we might as well do that. And if I grenade her out, there we go. I was a little leery about putting, um, I think it was Necrosis on him, but seems to be already paying off. I, they don't have too much Blight Resistance, so we're going to try it on them. Toe to toe, just so she can stay in place. Going to Blight the back row. Yeah, Necrosis. That seems like a pretty good move. Hits everyone that's blighted, so... Acid raining. Oh wow, both of them resisted it. Alright. The maid dies on her next turn. So, let's... The Butcher down. Hit him down again. Alright, he dies on his next turn. I want to save the Magnesium Rain for the corpses, because we do have people that can eat the corpses here. And a Howling End. Now he dies on his turn. A deliberate and methodical appliance of harm. Alright, we're gonna have her heal. Getting rid of corpses, burning her. Malaise. Measured and steady. Whacking her. Uh don't need to use the revelry, so I guess we're gonna toe to toe to get rid of the winded. Oh, the heal isn't going to do too much, so a Noxious Blast to kill her faster. Poison Dart, hoping to Blight, which didn't happen. Revelry still won't heal, so down she goes. And what do we get? I really like this Galvanizing Goblet that is huge to get. And then the Ghastly Gruel is another very good one to get. Not gonna use that thing. Screw that thing. <laughs> and oh, Holy Water. That's another really good one to have on hand. So, let's see if we can do this. Born to a corpulent, half-eaten mother. The child is right, a let's blight him. Degeneracy. He does have a high blight resistance, but we're also blighting the meat. So, I mean, that's not a horrible thing to do. And also burn him. Because we have a very good blight chance with the plague doctor, so let's do that. Might as well do this to try to heal and keep his health up. Bodica is going to toe to toe so that attacks go at her and then she can do Howling End next turn. We're going to try to spam Howling End as much as possible. Good, we got a miss. Like I said, Howling End, that will take a chunk out of him. Unfortunately, we do have to eat. I am going to try to take out the meat that we do have a chunk on already. 
And then let's Noxious Blast again. Getting another Blight on him. And then... Excellent work. Fortunately, did not get another Blight. Let's give him a bonk. The fiend's strength dwindles. I am going to heal Bodica here just so we don't have to do something else. Well, I mean, that's one way to move her. And then flashing daggers. There's our Blight again. He's taking 10 around. Oof. We may have to rack a shrubbery. Agony by accumulation. Doing six around. That's not going to do. How does that add up? Only, oh, 75% of damage, right? So let's give him a. No, let's heal up. It's not going to do much for a heal, is it? Bonk him. Then, let's blight him again. Missed. That's fine. Blight wore off. That's what I didn't want to have happen. I'm going to try to blight again. Resist. Darn. And since she is like that, we're going to Adrenaline Rush. That cures her Winded and heals her, keeping her up. Alright. No one wants to eat. That's at least good. Let's keep up Flashing Daggers. We got the Blights off. Measured and steady. Howling End is still on cooldown, so we're going to Rackish Revelry. Let's get that stress down. Gonna necrosis to heal up. This is no time to pull. Uh -oh. Okay. Uh, so four round. He's got 19 left. We're gonna heal because if we don't, he's gonna die, or she's gonna die rather, and that's gonna piss off the flagellant. But that is what it is. Oh no. Well, for technically we might be able to end this. I don't like the chances. Oh, we got it. Death store. That's on cooldown. Let's not knock off the blight. I know I would rather heal, but death blow. Okay. We got it. Cut down these nightmares. Little close. The trail to your redemption. So now, Audrey is going to take the Galvanizing Goblet because that's plus one damage dealt, or blight damage dealt. We're going to put the Ghastly Gruel on Para, and I don't think we need the Greater Heat Shield on anyone quite yet. And let's see what the Hoarder has for us, because that could be really good. Tell me it's not corrosive, says the person using very corrosive things. And this is all still very fixable for things that have happened. All right. Curing Cuppa is something I definitely wanted. His prison is not something I really wanted. However, we could get the griddle. Is there anything else here that is really good? I could get the griddle and then the tea service, which is good for the wolf cub, which is stress resistance. The curing cuppa. <laughs> I think 
I'm going to make the bad choice of getting the curing cuppa. Because if I can kill things faster, I can go into fights more often and just keep de-stressing. And then we're going to put that on Audrey for now. So she can do more blight damage because she also has the AoE that it would go on. Consider all very we're also going to... Oh, I can do a creature den, which would be a mastery point most likely. Or I can go to the cache. Uh, da, 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 da. It's a gamble if I get anything out of the cache. If I go to the creature den, I almost am guaranteed one mastery point, if not two plus things afterwards. So let's go to the creature den. Plus it de-stresses people. Everyone but Audrey who needed it the most, you know. All right. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Of course, before it could do anything. All right, so let's get them. Agony by accumulation. Going to revelry to get the stress down on Para. Ah, uh, that's four and six, so we're gonna need to heal. So otherwise, he's gonna go to Death Store one on his next hit. But flashing daggers to hit these two. Of course. Test of all. At least we can heal her before her next turn. Flashing daggers again. Conclusion. Really? We got a toe to toe. Let's get rid of that. And carelessness. All marks got of ten, so he's gonna die. So what we can do is. Honestly, let's heal up. Not sure why they only healed for one, but... Alright. I don't want to hit the dog this time around, so we're going to go at the fire mouth. Actually, no, we're going to dead of the night to heal with that. Since Bodica is immobilized, can we howling end and kill this thing? Yes. A resounding response. Letting us fester, blighting these two. Healing Bodica because she really needs it at this point. At least has a relationship been. point up to nice. All right, then. Blight. The enemy weakens and wanes. He's down. An indiscriminate and heal. Just recovering a little bit while we can. We don't need to revelry, so we're gonna toe to toe. Uh, might as well necrosis and heal up a little bit more. gonna die on his turn so can we do anything to heal up yes we can that will kill him so we're just gonna bypass that so Audrey can then eat the corpse with dead of the night and Bob he goes down not the greatest but we did recover a bit. We did lose a few relationship points, though. All right. So, creature den. They ate the rotten flesh of their animals. And there's a few more back. They turned upon themselves. Weakness. Yeah, we'll go weakness. All right. 
Well, one way to do that. <laughs> Outright killing that one. We are then going to make sure... Eh, I'll do something else for that. Let's poison dart. No, flashing dagger will still do more. And we got a blade off. One way or another. I'm going to fester so that we have a chance of blighting again. Blighting the... Worm again. That should take it out. Just leaving the dogs. Well, that got rid of a dodge at least. And then flashing daggers. Gets rid of another dodge. That's bring again. I don't think it can dodge that, but it can resist. We toe to toe. All right. Wow, resists all around. All right, three and five, so we can hit that. It dies on its next turn. Oof. So now we can rivalry, get that stress down again. Festering, so it can't dodge that. I'll toe to toe with her. Stick to the face. <laughs> we are gonna heal her. 18, wow. And then toe to toe, just get rid of the winded. It dies on its turn, so we're going to do what we can here. Eh, which wasn't much. And that is not something I was hoping for. So we are immobilized, so we might as well use this while we can. Well, that's not going to do too much because they are the block plus. So let's just toe to toe to get rid of that. Then let's do this. Maybe put a blight on them. No. Let's blight them while we can. That'll eat them a little bit. And steady. Flashing daggers. Well. Put that on him. Alright. Got a little bit of a thing going now. Oh, she's got weak now. Lovely. Because she's weak. It's just Iron Swan trying to take out this last one. He's got Necrosis. Can hit all three of them. And let's speed up the death on these two. Okay. Hearing an Eater. One dies on its next turn. An interminable conflict. And an adrenaline rush, so she keeps healing. Let's. I don't think this is going to do too much. Why is that only healing? Oh, heals 245%. Okay. He goes last, so that's something at least. That worm goes down to its... Er, that thing goes down to death door on its turn. Both of them die on their next turn. So, let's light him. I can hit him down. He might die on his turn. Let's howling end, even though it's not going to do as much as I need it to. That one goes on then the other worm. So let's magnesium rain, getting rid of the corpses. So it can't eat and heal. It goes, does something. That's not the greatest, but 
we can live. Lovely, that's what I didn't want to happen. At least he goes last. So we can live with that. I toe to toe, so they hit her, just in case. We're gonna heal him so he doesn't die. This wound at least has been. And then it'll only use seven, so let's punish. Not just blast. Really with those. Alright. Death door. Does it die? And wing. It dies. Okay. All right, mastery point, and then remove all diseases and two mastery points. So that was very good. And we are almost there. We're going to get a few more candles, too, which will be pretty nice. Just got a few more things to unlock. All right, battle, battle, run away. Well, you like Bodica more, so we'll ruin that. Hey, we do need to be wary about these little guys, because he can eat them. However, we are going to try to blight everything. Not that it's going to work too well. Uh, I suppose I'm going to Noxious Blast them. Wow, even that didn't go through. Then Punish. Oof. He's getting kind of low on health there. I'm not liking that. Alright, since we are immobilized, let's see what we can do here. We can kill the higher health one, so we're going to do that. We're then going to try to flashing daggers. Did he get the blight off? Okay, he didn't eat, which is good. I'm then going to... Oh, I wanted to save that. Oh, well. Magnesium rain, getting rid of the corpse. Burns him, kills the corpse, or kills the fodder, and then fester, getting rid of the other one, making sure he doesn't eat. We're then going to heal. Only do 8 damage, so give him a bonk. Flashing daggers to blight him. Try to... One heck of a backhand there, sir. Don't need to de- I guess I could have de-stress. I can do that next turn. Revelry. Get Paris stressed down. Oh, uh, we're gonna heal up. Gotta move. Now he's at that store. Take to the face, and he's down. Sweet reprieve. Until the next test is put before you. All right. Another feast, another fight. Suppose let's go Bodica again and fix that. Oh, we got a dinner card. That's gonna make things interesting. Can we flashing daggers it? We really can't, so let's get rid of the lady then. Kind of funny that we still got the curing cup to go off. <laughs> All right.
right. And then we're going to toe to toe. Get her locked in place. I'm going to use Magnesium Rain because I really do just want to get at that cart. And then I suppose we have to put him back here. If it's only got one health, we're going to Necrothus to heal up. We're then going to Iron Swan to hit the dinner cart. I really just want to hit this thing, but I'm not going to do too much damage to it for now, so we're going to pick to the face. Noxious Blast. It's going to die on its turn, and I'm guessing it's going to eat. Yep. Okay. Down with that. I'm going to heal her with Dead of the Night. Um, we're going to try to Blight. Yeah. A slow dissection. Hey, that's like the one I can trust to maybe Blight these things. I don't think this... No, we're not locked in place anymore, but we still can Howling it. And pick to the face, because he's in row one now, technically, and two. Lighting again. Give him a good old whack. And toe to toe, sir. The past is Another mastery point. Ooh. Greater Gilded Mind and Poison Ring. Apply and hit if noxious item is equipped. Blight. We're going to have fun. So, unfortunately, we are going to have to move the Galvanizing Goblet off of Audrey. But we can put the Poison Ring on because that combos with the Curing Cuppa. And then we can put the Galvanizing Goblet on Para because she still has some AoE stuff that it works with. And then, if we get other stuff, we can still put it on Damien. Our protection has been stripped to its last. Odika is like trying her best here. All right. As always, we got to get that altar down. We do not want it going boom again on us. So, I guess Audrey can do that for now. Then Acid Rain, Plague Grenade, 6 out of like 25, 20. Um, yeah, we're going to Iron Swan that. So now two turns, it dies, we can leave it alone. Now, toe to toe on the one that's not healing. Really just doing this to hit the evangelist now. Lighting it. Ooh, seven blight. Nice. Once again, just basically blighting the evangelist. The 12 out of 15. Very nice. Incremental. Deadly we are going to Necrosis to heal up. Forgot about that pushback of it. Alright, now let's pick to the face. Now it should die on its turn. Get rid of the block token at least. One down. We're still immobilized, so we can howling end. Gonna 
that through that. Lighting him again. Lighting him more. <laughs> Festering another corpse to blight him even more, so it's at 16. 4 to 7, or 1 to 3 with blight. So yeah, we'll blight him for more. He's at 19. He goes down to death's door on his turn. So we're going to rack his shrapnelly and get rid of some stress. Hold fast. For whom you know I tried. In the beyond. Take to the face. Another mastery point. Ooh, Raven's Reach. That could be good too. Right, and otherwise, you know, things are that. And off to the inn. Wouldn't trust the apples and cheese off the road. Especially this road. But you know, you guys do you. Familiar hearth crackles. All right, so we got devout, but then stiff knees and mortified by blood. Really, Bodica? Okay, region goal complete. Got four candles, two mastery points. So, how many mastery points is that? Six from that area. That is huge. <laughs> so, we got that. At the Wainwright, I'm not going to be using bumper crop unless I absolutely have to. So we're going to check out the Provisioner. Youch, that really hurt. So hopefully I can find some stuff at a Hoarder that really helps out. Otherwise, um, we're just going to hold on to the baubles. And then next time... Why does it do this to me? I would like to go into this brawl, but we will be going into the sluice instead. Just because I do have a good history of getting stuff in there. Although, as last time proved, that's not always the case. But usually I do get at least a few good trinkets and some mastery points and stock up on relics and baubles for the rest of the run. But we'll see and maybe I won't get what I need and I won't have like a sprawl or something like that that I could have gotten something better out of. So we'll see. It's literally a roll of the dice, but that is a plan. We will be going to the sluice, so look forward to that. And I mean, if nothing else, we do still have these six mastery points to play with. And this group does seem to be somewhat cohesive, at least. So... I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens, but I, I have high hopes for this group. So let me know what y'all think. Um, and if this group doesn't work out too well, I do have an entirely new group in mind that I want to test out. Um, that does sound really fun, and I hope y'all enjoy this one and the next one. So as always, I wish you all well. I'll see you next time, and please have a good one.